Are you a fan of comic books? You know how in many of them the story goes something like this. There is a scientist who does an experiment. And plot twist, it goes wrong. As a consequence, they gain strange powers. And eventually they either become the hero or the villain of the story. Well, what I'm trying to say is, the experiments I'll talk about now are so crazy that they could very well belong to a superhero movie. So buckle up for one wild ride through the scientific world. If only scientists knew their experiment could almost result in catastrophe. Back in 1991, one Finnish scientist introduced a species of butterfly onto one remote island to study if they could survive the new harsh environment. But before you feel sorry for the butterflies who are taken away from their homes to a totally strange place, hear this. The scientist had no clue that these innocent-looking butterflies were actually hosting a species of stomach-bursting parasitic wasp. But wait, it gets even weirder. Those parasitic wasps also carried their own smaller, stomach-bursting hyperparasites. And they were parasitic wasps themselves, too. Once the butterflies were released on the island, the wasps erupted, spreading across the island all thanks to their hosts, creating a wasp apocalypse, so to speak. Imagine you were living there. Well, you would have all the right to feel angry. But thankfully, the island was unoccupied. Yet again, the same species of butterfly were seen on some of the small islands in the region. So let's hope they were unoccupied too. You see, the harsh conditions didn't seem to stop the butterflies and the parasitic wasps from thriving and living their best lives. And all have managed to survive in the area even to this day. This eyebrow-raising experiment provided later scientists with a lesson to be learned. Do your research better. Never tickle a sleeping dragon. Or in the case of this crazy experiment, never bring zombies back to life. Now, before things start to sound too fictitious for you, let me quickly clarify that the zombies I'm talking about now are not the shambling, brain-hungry ones. They are actually multicellular microscopic animals called bideloid rotifers that live in freshwater environments. Think about any immortal character in the movies, TV shows, and books, and these rotifers are probably way older than them. They have been around for about 50 million years, and as you can imagine, being able to exist for such a long time requires some solid survival skills. And thanks to other previous experiments, scientists had already known that rotifers could be frozen at minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit, and then revived up to 10 years later. But when they came across a group of zombie rotifers that were frozen inside Arctic permafrost for 24,000 years, they discovered something even more fascinating and jaw-dropping. Well, guess being a scientist requires having a passion for danger, because bringing them back to life wouldn't be high on my agenda if I found those zombies. But these scientists did. Once they thawed the rotifers, they not only woke up, but also went on to reproduce by creating perfect clones of themselves. In case you're wondering how that is possible, these little creatures are able to go into a suspended metabolic state known as cryptobiosis. This is almost as if they're hitting the pause button on life. They are evolved to use cryptobiosis because most of them live in watery habitats that often freeze or dry up, and it's how they protect themselves until their conditions improve. Alexa, play Survivor by Destiny's Child. With this kind of spooky experiment, scientists are hoping to better understand cryopreservation and how it could be adapted for humans. If these scientists were witches or wizards, I bet they would pick alchemy as their elective class at Hogwarts. In this next mind-bending experiment, scientists magically, I mean scientifically, transformed purified water into metal. And even though it was for a few fleeting seconds, this transformation allowed the liquid to conduct electricity as well. But how did they do it? Well, one thing's for sure, they didn't use the mythical Philosopher's Stone. So, the alkali metals of sodium and potassium were scientists' secret ingredients. When they mixed small droplets of sodium and potassium with a tiny amount of water vapor, an incredible thing happened. For a few short moments, the water transformed into a shiny golden metal. And the most fascinating part was that they saw it with their bare eyes. All this might provide scientists insight into the highly pressurized hearts of planets, where transformations like this can naturally occur. But this experiment also proves one other thing, if you ask me. It is that science really is magic. 
If the ice zombie didn't give you the chills, this next experiment will. So, have you ever heard about organoids? They are mini versions of organs that scientists can grow in labs using stem cells. The cool thing about these stem cells is the fact that they have the ability to turn into any type of cell in the body. So in the past, scientists had already developed tiny beating hearts and tear ducts that could cry as humans do. They had even grown mini brains that produce brain waves like those of preterm babies. But there's a new and exciting addition to the list of organoids. It is a tiny brain with its own pair of eyes called optic cups. Well, we are past sci-fi now. This is the territory of horror movies. Anyway, the researchers' process involved transforming stem cells into neural tissue first. Then they stimulated those cells with chemical signals to form tiny optic cups filled with light-sensitive cells. The optic cups appeared as early as 30 days and matured within 50 days. And the most fascinating thing about this time frame is the fact that it is similar to how the retina develops in a human embryo. The researchers created 314 mini-brains in total, but not all of them formed optic cups. Only 72% did. Even though this might all sound so creepy, thanks to these organoids, scientists can gain insights into the development and function of our own brains. They can also help us understand how our visual system develops and how diseases affect the brain and even help cure retinal disorders that cause blindness. This next experiment is fantastic. We have all been in situations where we feel like a fish out of water. But one scientist took that saying literally. He wanted to see whether fish could find their way like they do in the ocean in a totally new environment. So he placed goldfish in cars. Well, fish operated tanks to be exact, AKA a plastic aquarium mounted on a small platform with wheels. These tanks also had a camera on top that could track their movements. Whenever the fish swam in a specific direction, the car would move in that same direction as well. But as you can imagine, making a fish drive was no easy task. He first trained the fishies to associate certain actions with specific rewards. For example, if they could successfully move the car, they got a delicious treat. Next, he taught them to make sense of the environment around the water vehicles they were in by placing obstacles. And to his surprise, it was only after a couple of days that the fish adjusted to changes in their surroundings perfectly. Don't get too excited though. This doesn't mean you might have a goldfish Uber driver sometime soon. There's a new mutant spider in town. There's a new mutant spider in town! In our last experiment, a group of scientists genetically modified a species of spider and created its short-legged version. To do that, they first had to map the entire genome of the species. Then they isolated the long legs gene and turned it off in developing embryos, which created individual arachnids with shorter deformed legs. The researchers are hoping this experiment will help them reveal the secrets of the spider's body, as well as its unique method of locomotion, which is walking with three pairs of legs and waving the longest pair about to feel its way around. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.